This is a book about Johnny Appleseed. And we've been talking a lot about apples and a tiny bit about Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed's birthday is actually on September the 26th this month of September. And his birthday was September 26th. So that's on what, Saturday? Yeah. So that's kind of why we celebrate Johnny Appleseed and talk a little bit about him. Plus, it's fall and it's time to start eating some apples, so it's a really good opportunity. Johnny Appleseed goes planting. Johnny Appleseed's real name was John Chapman. He got his nickname because he planted apple seeds everywhere he went. Johnny was born on September 26th 1774, that was a long time ago, in Massachusetts. His father was a farmer. Johnny liked to help with farm chores. Johnny's favorite chore was to take care of the apple orchard. He loved to climb apple trees and pick the shiny red fruit. When Johnny was a young man, people began to move west to settle in Ohio and other faraway places. These pioneers had to clear land, build their own houses, and plant crops. They did not have time to plant apple trees. They, they've got a lot of stuff they have to do and they didn't have a lot of time to plant some apple trees. So Johnny Appleseed had an idea. Johnny was sorry to hear that the pioneers did not have apple trees. He wished they could see the beautiful pink apple blossoms in the spring. He knew they would enjoy eating the nice crunchy apples in the fall. And they would love to have hot apple pie in the winter. I must think of a way to help the pioneers, Johnny said. So he's trying to come up with a plan, like how can I help them have apple trees. Johnny wanted to give every family an apple tree to take to Ohio, but the pioneers wagons were already full of the things they needed. No one had room for a tree. Then Johnny had a good idea. He decided to give the pioneers apple seeds to take with them. Whenever he ate an apple, he saved the seeds. Then he put them into a leather into leather pouches and gave them to the pioneers who passed by his farm. So inside of these little leather bags are a bunch of apple seeds and he's gonna give the small little seeds to them and then when they get where they're going, they can plant apple trees. You must build a small fence after you plant the seeds, Johnny told the pioneers. Deer like to eat the young plants and you must keep weeds from growing near the trees. The pioneers were thankful for the seeds, but they did not think they would have time to take care of apple trees. Because there's a lot of stuff you gotta do to take, make sure that tree grows. One day, Johnny had an even better idea. I'm going to go to Ohio, he told his mother and father. I will plant apple orchards for the pioneers but you will be all alone, said his father. You will miss your family and your friends. They're kind of worried, because he's good. but he's all grown up now, so. And you can't just go off into the wilderness by yourself, Johnny's mother added. Think of the wild animals. What if you get stuck in a snowstorm? And where will you sleep? I will sleep right out under the sky, said Johnny. The sky is the best roof anyone could ever have. He's gonna just sleep outside. Johnny's parents were still worried, but they could see that he was determined to go. They helped Johnny pack his bag. His mother made him a warm coat and gave him her best cooking pan to use to make his meals. Before he left, Johnny stopped at the cider mill in town the mill used a lot of apples to make apple cider. 
Johnny asked for some apple seeds. Take as many as you want, the owner said. Look at all those apple seeds. Because he doesn't need them. He's turning the apples into like an, a warm apple juice called apple cider. Johnny took so many apple seeds that he couldn't fit everything back into his bag. He decided to wear the pan on his head. This will make a nice hat, he said. It was not an easy trip. Johnny walked hundreds of miles with his apple seeds. Sometimes Johnny would stop and help a farmer chop some wood or mend a fence. The families Johnny helped often invited him to have dinner with them. Soon, Johnny had many new friends. Johnny liked sleeping out under the stars and his mother need not have worried about wild animals. All the forest creatures loved Johnny. One time during a terrible snowstorm, Johnny even snuggled up inside a log with a bear. Now this part of the story, um, parts of this story are real, like John Chapman's a real man, but this part where he cuddled up with a bear, I think that's make-believe. I don't think that really happened. It's just like a folk tale. When Johnny finally arrived in Ohio, he planted seeds along the riverbanks. He used bushes to make prickly fences to protect the seeds. Then Johnny moved on to another place and planted more seeds, but he always made sure to go back to care for the shoots that were already growing. Shoots are baby plants. So he would go over and start planting some more and come back and still take care of these and make sure that they're doing well. When the seedlings were big enough, Johnny dug them up. Then he took them to the pioneer's home so they could start their own apple orchard. So once it got tall enough and big enough, he would dig it out, including the roots and everything, and he would bring it over to somebody's house and say, okay, now you can plant this in your yard so you'll eventually have apples. In a few years, you will have apples to eat right off the tree, Johnny said, and in the spring, you will see pink apple blossoms on the trees. There isn't a prettier sight anywhere. Johnny planted trees near hundreds of cabins in the Ohio Valley. It wasn't long before people started calling him Johnny Appleseed. He helped the pioneers in other ways too. He pulled up stumps, planted corn, and built furniture for their homes. The pioneer families looked forward to Johnny's visits. Wash up for supper, children, the mothers would say. Johnny Appleseed is coming to visit us tonight. Let me go tell stories. Johnny Appleseed spent his whole life helping people any way he could. Before he died, the Ohio Valley was blooming with apple blossoms, and some people today still think of Johnny Appleseed whenever they see an apple orchard. So that's, that is Johnny Appleseed. He's, and these are the apple blossoms, the pink flowers on there. Those flowers will turn into apples. We just need bees to help us with that. Okay. So this story is actually, I wanna say it's part real and part make-believe. <laughs> so he was a real person, but some of the things like sleeping with a bear and things like that are not, did not really happen. They're just kind of like a story that somebody made up that kind of goes along with Johnny Appleseed. All right, and where does the story play, take place? The setting of the story is happening in Massachusetts. That's a state in the United States. And also traveling to Ohio and then in Ohio. All right, 